It is education from the inside out rather than outside in. Like, like the previous schools that I've attended, everything is so outside. Your learning, your textbooks. It was just like you had to learn something and you had to get a certain grade. But here, it's not just that. It's like it's learning from within. It's not about what grades you get, but what is your experience doing that learning? And every everybody's learning is different as individual. Well, I, I really wanted to go to university where the focus wasn't just on learning information and academics, but it was really on developing the students and developing the students' potential. Because that's what I wanted for my life, was I really wanted to grow as a person. And I really believe that who you are is really the basis of your life rather than what you know. Consciousness-based education starts with a student. It realizes that the teacher teaches and the student learns. So if learning is an important outcome of education, you want to start with the student. So that's what consciousness-based education does. Specifically, uh, we have the Transcendental Meditation Technique. It's a technique to allow the individual student to take their attention from active thinking, um, focused, localized concerns to the very quiet source pure consciousness, the source of thought, the field of intelligence, creativity. And by contacting that, what they're actually doing is they're strengthening that connection. It's almost like taking pipes and putting them up to a reservoir, and now the reservoir can flow. It is revolutionary in the educational system. they focusing on expanding the container. And I like that. I really, I really like that. Instead of just jamming information down on everybody's yeah. throats. They, they look at the person and they look at how they can get the maximum out of the learning environment. I've kind of structured my life around trying to stretch my boundaries. I think that anybody that enjoys that would enjoy MUM. It's consciousness is like that, that inner essence of awareness of the self. And it is a topic that's been talked about a lot in philosophy and psychology and everything. And the discussion is very interesting and we have very lively discussions here about the nature of consciousness. But added to that is the most important thing of really experiencing directly the most settled, most refined level of our own inner consciousness. Do you feel less scattered in your mind? Because everything is related to consciousness, which is the basis of life of who you are so if you can't see how things relate you don't you don't really get interested in things you just do it because you have to rather than because it's amazing it's fascinating this is you know, a part of me a part of our collective um, of creation you know at some point I realized that I really didn't know anything at all about life or existence or any of the big questions and I wanted to. I can't think of any place else on earth that would be better suited for finding the truth. <laughs>